Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Francis and this is the channel of your choice. Thank you so much. This is where we give hope. This is where we inform. This is where we inspire and this is where we also educate. So if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. If you are new here, welcome to the world of information. Welcome to the world of hope. Welcome to the world of fun and the world where we 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 give the shoulder for people to lean on and so as i have said i am a psychologist or i've been saying if you're new here i'm psych i'm a psychologist i'm also um an educator of teenagers and like you have seen uh i'm back on 17 um not 17 on wednesdays i have been doing weekly videos where i was not very consistent but now i'm back I've been uh, working on a series on parenting and we've already done one that is that came all that will come all that came on 17th of April and another week now we are preparing for another another video on the series and so if you have any question that you want uh, to be answered on uh, parenting please do DM me visit my Instagram or my Facebook Anna underscore Mugeshe and DM me or just comment and tell me the any topic that you want me to handle on parenting because you know what? It is only in parenting that there they are no professors. It is the only field that does not have professors. It is the only field that you'll be taken to the college but the application, you'll be taken to parenting classes but the application will be very different. And so the way you bring up your kids, the way I bring up my kids will be so different. And so I give you this chance to ask any question that you have. Do subscribe. I will be back as we talk about another topic on parenting. And we are going to talk about the principles that you cannot change in parenting. Welcome and do subscribe. I'll be back. So yeah, we are talking about, uh, thank you for subscribing by the way, thank you so much, I don't take it for granted. Being at 2.5 is not a joke and so I really, really appreciate you. So we are talking about the principles of parenting. I began by saying it is the only school that you'll go but you'll not be a professor. Professor, I mean. Yeah, and so we are talking about the principles. I'm going to give you a few principles about parenting because you know what? In mathematics, we have formulas and formulas keep on changing, if I have not forgotten. But principles may not change. How do you parent your children? And by the way, in the field of psychology and in the field of counseling, I have dealt with so many teenagers and you know, parenting has really, really, really been on the back crash on the teenagers. I mean, they have really, the parenting style that you use really matters to your teenage children or to the other ages of the children. And so you realize that parenting keeps on trial and error to see what can work for you, what can work for me, but principles will not change. So these are the principles that cannot change in counseling, I mean in uh, parenting. You will forgive me for that. I'm somehow hungry and I am in my office in the balcony. That is where I'm doing this. If you haven't watched my videos where we started this balcony sometimes back and making it an office during COVID, please go back and subscribe. Now back to the topic, principles cannot change. Principle number one is the principle of love. Love will never change unless you're not loving. The Bible says that if you do not love me, then you do not. If you do not love, then you do not know me. 
and it also says that love covers a multitude of sins and so when we talk about the principle of love in parenting show love to your children love your children do not let your children beg for your love it doesn't matter the mistakes that they're doing it doesn't matter what they are doing wrong or the good things that they are doing love unconditionally show love to your kids love will cover every mistake that they make love will help you even bring them up and correct them and rebuke them with the love because they will know that we did something wrong and even if we are punished we are punished because we did something love so love will help love your children let them know that you love them let them know anything or everything that you're doing you're doing because you love them and so love is very important and you know what when you love someone you will find yourself doing the right thing towards those people when you have a loving relationship with someone you will find yourself trying to reach out to them wherever you see like they are going down and so when you love your children when you love those who are under you it will be very easy for you to know when something somewhere is wrong now note that i am not talking about pampering i'm not talking about spoiling i'm talking about love such that if your children are going on the wrong direction you're going to correct them no matter how much you love them that is what i mean so principle number 2 is a principle of talking positively i was in another gathering in another group where we had a, a short course on trauma and i remember someone talking about how uh we were brought up for those people who are in their late 30s and near their early 30s that there was there was a lot of laboring there was a lot of negativity there were so many names that we are called but remember there is power in the tongue there is power in the tongue even the bible says so talk positively don't call names to your children however much they irritate you don't call them names don't label them don't be rude to them make the environment conducive for them remember we started with the love and so when you love you're very positive So speak positive speak positive words with your kids there is power in words they like have said command blessings in your own children because remember the names that you call them they could become them when you label your child as a bad child that child we identify as bad after all they know that i am bad and so i'm bad why should i be good so avoid laboring you know i feel the teenage education I always make sure that I am very positive. And I am adv an adv uh, in the advocacy of no labeling. It doesn't matter what they have done. Don't identify them with whatever they have done. Meaning differentiate or separate the wrong with the individual. Separate whatever they may have done with the individual so that you separate the wrong doing put it aside and then make sure that you have the human being here who has done that and so speak positively and speak blessing upon your children command blessings wake up in the morning and say they are blessed wake up in the morning and say they are not what they think they are if they have been doing all the way wrong things especially in the teenagers or in the teenage life make sure that you command positive blessings upon them say they are good when you know they are disturbing you say they are not problematic when you know they are they are very problematic the bible tells us that we say we are rich when you are poor when we are sick we say we are healed and so the same same thing with that problematic child that child that you think is bringing so many problems and so many stress so much stress on your side bless them speak positive things upon them and they will become what you have spoken to them because this power in the tongue who cares about the 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 the, the, the children 
the society nowadays i think are really really caring about the children and use the words of your mouth to encourage your child and even the society should be educated to encourage those children that they, they think are problematic in the society because who cares anyway so parenting is very very important and the style that you use is also very important so that is principle number two talk positively principle number three the principle of presence I'm from a meeting where we we were talking about parenting and wondering where there is so much truancy, where there is so much ODD that is oppositional defi uh, positional defiance disorder, where there is so much conduct disorder in our youth, where did the rain start beating us, and we're looking at the factors that may have affected our children or those teenagers and the youth during the bringing up, and we came up with so many factors and one of them was the principle of presence of a parent the style of parenting and the presence of a parent so you could be present but you're not present you are in the house the children can see you but the children cannot communicate to you because you are unreachable you could be so busy or you are an animal to them you could also not be present because you're so busy looking for money you're so busy uh, making, trying to make the ends meet. And we normally tell them as parents that we are going to work early. We are coming late because we want you to have a comfort life. What comfort is that? When you lose your children because you have not been there. When you lose what they, when you, you, you lose a milestone of your child, of your teenager, because you've been so busy. You even forgot about their graduation. You even forgot about their party. You even forgot about, I don't know what, what they say is very important to them. Their parents are so busy that they are not available. What happens with the presence is that you will see the milestones of your child. You are going to see when your child is changing. You are going to see the behavioral change, the emotional change and the physical change when you are present and interacting with them that is what i mean you are present and you are interacting with them and that is what i'm calling the presence because there are so many ways of knowing your child through interaction through what their classmates say about them what the teacher says and those are the faces of you knowing your child but imagine you are not present you don't interact with them you don't know who they move with you don't even visit the school, you will have a problem. So your presence is very important and your presence should be felt by your children. Let us not look for money. Let us not be so busy looking for money and we lose our children. The other principle is the principle of role modeling. Am I preaching wine and taking water? Or am I preaching what, what do you call it by the way? You preach what you preach wine and you take water. Is there a saying like that, by the way? Yeah, I think there's something like that. Are you a good role model to your child? You are the first role model of a child. The first caregiver of an infant is the first role model. So when you give birth to this child, the first person they see is you. Are you a good role model? Let your son or daughter look at you and admire you and like to be like you. Let them want to be like you. I want to be like mom. I want to be like dad. I want to be like aunt. I want to be like my brother. I want to be like, you know what I'm talking about? Be a good example for them to learn from. You must make sure that if you want them to go to church, if you are a Christian, don't send them to church and then you remain there. If you want them to have quality time with each other as siblings, make sure that you spend quality time with them. If you want them to pray together as a family, make sure that you are the leader. You are on the front line. You are the one who introduces them to reading the word of God. You are the one who sits down with them and tells them, let us pray for food. Let us pray and then give thanks for the night. You know what I'm talking about. You want them to read the word of God, lead by an example. You want them to dress decently, 
lead by an example you want them to talk pro um to talk politely with people and to apply all the etiquette and not to use harsh ones to others lead by an example and leading by an example is what you project to them is what they are going to project to the society and then even in the acting in they will act how you act so it is very important for us to make sure that we apply this in our parenting it doesn't matter what type of parenting you are carrying out but love must apply you must speak positively and speak blessings upon your children you must also be present and ensure that you are present and engaged you are present and in engagement with them and then ensure that you are the role model that they want to to look up to so i hope i have helped you do you have any question thank you for watching to this end thank you for watching the whole of this video those are the principles of parenting i started by saying if you want me to have another topic on parenting that i want to talk to somebody asked me on my tiktok handle how to deal with a, a hot tempered son i'll be answering that question if you have an answer drop a comment and let us do this again and again i'm planning to have like um, five series of parenting and they are going to be back to back so this is uh on uh, the principles i'll come up with another one we've already done about the answering the question on uh, how to deal with them when they are not talking to you they met me doing this there i asked them this and they said i'm becoming a judge they are not talking to me they don't want to see me teenage world and we have answered those questions so if you have not watched that video please do visit that video and the longer version of the video and watch and let us talk about this thank you so much for supporting me may god bless you may god help us to bring up this next generation that is full of wisdom that is full of love and the next generation that is able to fit in this society god bless you thank you for supporting me my name is anna francis salut shalom